With over 2,000 manufacturers and 13,000 brands, New York City is being recognized as a leader in the next industrial revolution. Join us as we meet with some of New York's rising stars and industry leaders. From CFDA President Stephen Kolb. New York is considered one of the four global fashion capitals. It has a significant footprint in fashion. To New York City's Deputy Mayor, Alicia Glenn. I think the future of manufacturing in New York is not necessarily large-scale production. What we have to offer is really unique um, access to markets. Surrounded by thousands of manufacturers, media, and retail opportunities, New York ranks as one of the top three cities to start a business. And I'm your guide, Matthew Burnett, CEO of Makers Row, and this is Makers Row, New York City. here with Roni Vardy, the founder of Catbird. Really awesome brand. One of the things that I, I recognize is that your product fits so perfectly in Williamsburg. Like the aesthetic of it, it just feels like it was made for Williamsburg. Did you design around your community or was it just something that you liked and it just so happened to be something that your community liked? Um, that's a great question. I really I don't know if I'm as much my customer now because I'm older than my customer, but I certainly, I was my customer. I lived in Williamsburg, I was the same age as the people coming to the store, and also there was a really thriving creative community in Williamsburg and so many people making awesome jewelry that you could really sort of, it was like an ecosystem. There were, you know, the people shopping and the people making and the people buying, and we all, I, I feel like there was a real synergy there. Okay. For a long time I was just retail, and then over time I had ideas of things I really wanted to wear and thought that my customers would really respond to. And one of my employees was a jeweler. And so I was like, well, if I wanna make these particular necklace or these particular earrings that are lowercase letters, and I had these ideas. And so she kind of facilitated them, helped make them. She had a little jewelry studio in her kitchen, I believe, in right. Williamsburg. So she would make, we would kind of work together and she would help me make what I wanted to make. I made the first knuckle rings. I wore a toe ring on my finger for a long time that I bought in the city. And so she helped me make those. And I didn't even think about ring sizing. It was all very like, oh, I have an idea. Let's try that. And you know, I had a platform to sell it and to get feedback and listen to things. And so that's kind of how the manufacturing part started. You're so close to the jewelry district. So you, have, you running a jewelry business, you're so close to your materials, right? How has that helped your company scale and grow? It's amazing. I mean, we do so much in-house now, but um, we have had to rely very heavily on the jewelry district over the past, especially at the beginning. And the fact that you can go and meet with your stone dealers in person, or you know, you don't have to travel really far to see samples of stuff and machines and get castings and have a really good relationship with your caster. You don't have to ship stuff everywhere. I mean, it's been incredible. I don't, I mean, a lot of cities have jewelry districts, but nobody's compares to New York, at least in America. So Lee Plesner, you are the co-creative director here at Catbird. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the creative process that goes into the products that you all make? We are very guided by emotion and feeling and our own personal desires for pieces of jewelry that are easy to wear, um, things that you can put on, never take off, don't have to fuss with, don't have to think about. Um, that's really our ultimate goal, is something that just enhances your everyday. It's obvious that manufacturing is important to you all because you won't let anyone else do it. You do it all yourself. What does Made in America mean to you? So Made in America to us means uh, made close to home, made in our backyard, made uh, literally in the room next to us. It means that we have total control over the working environment. Uh, it means that we eat lunch every day with the people who are making our jewelry and that it's an ebb and a flow of conversation um, and that we are learning from them all the time. We listen to their feedback on production. Uh, we're able to design in a smarter way uh, and I think that it just the end result is a beautiful, lasting product for our customers, and nothing's more important than making our customers happy.